Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you want to see a video on how I got this look, keep watching. Hi guys, so for this video, I'm going to be using um, two hair elastics. Ooh. Oh my god, I just lost that one. About four bobby pins, spray bottle with water, a brush, and I'm using the Cream of Nature uh, Arcan Buttermilk Leave-In Hair Milk. This oil mixture that I made, which is grapeseed oil, castor oil, and olive oil. Some edge control. This one is from Lada Body, and it's with coconut and shea oil. And uh, the Argan Oil Eco Styler Gel. So I'm just going to go ahead and start reselling these buns. Um, I've had them in for about a few days now. Um, I was planning on washing my hair today, but unfortunately I do not have enough time. Um, but I am going out to a birthday party, so I don't want to be on uh, a walk around with my hair all frizzy and stuff. So I'm just going to just redo the same style and just re-moisturize my hair because it is a little bit dry. And then tomorrow I'm going to wash my hair and maybe even do a wash. Maybe I'm going to that out the way. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm just going to uh, moisten my hair a little bit. I have some water and rosehip oil, I think, is in here. Yeah, so I'm just going to spray that over this section. I'm not trying to completely dampen my hair, but obviously I want to get it a little bit wet so it can absorb these products that I'm going to put onto it. Especially my ends. Okay, so seems pretty nice to me. Just going to work some of this water with my hands. Loosen up these curls. A little crusty right now. Feeling softening up with the water now. Next, I'm just going to put in some of this uh, Cream of Nature Argan Oil, Argan Buttermilk, sorry. Um, it's a leave-in hair milk. And you know there's already a lot of product in here. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my hair. Just because my hair is so dry right now. So I just have a little bit of that. Rub it on my ends. Just put that section half a little bit. Ah. I'm trying to get caught up in knots right now. That's fine. Anyways. And now I'm just going to take this oil mixture. It's grapeseed oil, olive oil, castor oil. And I'm going to put some of that. A little bit of that onto the section too. Okay. So now that this is all moisturized, I'm just gonna twist it out of the way and do that same thing on the other side of my hair. And I'm just going to seal some of that in with some oil. So now that my hair is moisturized, I'm going to style it into my buns. So I'm going to start with this side. So I'm going to go in with some Eco Styler Gel. Like, good size amount to slip down my frizz. I'm just going to 
slap that all on. Not drunk, I'm not putting it on the uh, ends of my hair. Just the roots to lay my hair flat, obviously. Guys, I just came up with an idea midway through this. I'm still restyling them, but I'm gonna add a little something something which I saw on a, uh, which I saw on Instagram the other day. Um, so I'm actually gonna go and grab some braiding hair and pulse and add two little braids to go down here to go with my space buns. So I just grabbed a section from the package that I'm gonna use. I'm only doing one braid on each side. But I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut it in half because obviously I don't want these ridiculously long two braids. I kind of want them just to be like regular length. So I'm going to cut this in half with some scissors and I'm going to use each half for one braid on each side. Okay. So I'm going to cut this in half. I just folded the hair uh, almost evenly in half, kind of. Not really. Here we go. Um, I've never done anything like this before. Well, that's a lie. It's a lot of lie. So this is for one section of my hair. I'm just going to pull on the ends of this hair just to get rid of the blood cut. So that looks, that looks pretty cool. That's a good enough size. I'm not sure if this is gonna be too thick. Uh, I'm gonna try in this section. I might have to take some of the hair out uh, depending on how it goes. Hey guys, so I finished um, one side of my hair and one braid. Uh, I'll show you the back. And so now I'm just going to show you how I do that same thing on the other side. I'm just going to take this little braid on my hair so it's out of my face for now and proceed. So I'm just going to take this hair down, which has been moisturized. And now I'm going to go in with some Eco Styler Gel and slab that all on the edges, all around my head. So now I'm just gonna section a little kind of half circle section at the front of my hair with this tail comb. I'm just gonna twist this, quickly twist it out of my way. Okay, so now I'm just gonna smooth back the rest of my hair. I'm going to secure it into a high ponytail. I'm going to go in with the edge control to fix the rogue edges, but I'm just going to smooth this up right now. So just grabbing this section of neck long that I cut. I'm going to secure it to that front section of my hair. So this section right here, we're going to twist it. Uh, look, it's already in two, but we want it to make it an even two section. So I'm just going to split this right in half. Just using my fingers, you know, that's absolutely perfect. You know, close enough. So I'm going to grab this section of hair, take one section with my hair and secure it with the connect along, so I'm holding both sections here. And then I'm gonna take this other section and I'm gonna to start to twist so that my hair winds with the extension. Okay, so I was just kind of using my fingers to help secure as I pull down and make sure uh, these two sections obviously don't combine. And once I've done this, I'm going to twist this other section in the opposite direction. So now I'm just winding it the opposite way that I twisted the other half. Sorry if my hands are in the way. Typically, obviously I don't want to film this when I do it myself. Um, so now that it's twisted like this, I'm just gonna take the first section and cross it underneath the bottom half so that they are now making an X. Okay, and I'm gonna do that one more time, and that's good. So now I'm going to take these two sections and I'm going to start to braid. So I'm taking a little bit from both sections to create a middle section. 
I'm not sure if this is the right way to how to make braids, but this is how I taught myself. And now from here, I'm gonna to start to braid down. Keeping the braid really tight so that it does not slip out. So it doesn't look perfect. Honestly, this is just something extremely temporary for myself. Um, if it was a style that I was gonna keep in longer, I probably would have taken, you know, some more time, maybe a little bit slower, maybe a little bit closer to the mirror. But this is fine for today. And I'm just braiding it down, all the way down. Okay guys, so I braided this section all the way down to the end. So now I have these two cute braids. Um, I'm going to um, add in some hair accessories. I got these little cute clips from a uh, beauty supply store. I'm sure you can find them at your local beauty supply store. And I'm just gonna grab two of these and they're really easy to use. They just have a little slit in them and you just kind of uh, just open it. And then the braid in. Okay, and then you just squeeze it to secure it to your hair. And I'm gonna take this one and just eye level that one. Okay, so I have these two cute braids, and now I'm going to twist this side of my hair. Off. I'm going to split this in half, okay, and I'm just going to twist, just do two jumbo twists. And as you can see, as I twist, I use my right hand to like kind of, not necessarily comb, but pull the curls down just to stretch them, just so I can uh, get a good twist out of this section. I do that every single time I braid or twist my hair. I always like to stretch the hair as I, I guess, braid it or twist it. Okay. So now I have these two chunky twists. And I, you're gonna grab your two bobby pins to secure these twists. So I'm just gonna take, let's try it, start with the back. I'm going to wrap it around forward, not super tightly, but tightly enough, and it will go all the way around. And I'm just going to secure one end with the bobby pin. Okay, and I'm going to take this section. You see how I went around that way with the first section? I'm going the opposite direction now. I'm going forward. So I'm going to go forward and then secure this end near the front. And there you have it. I'm going to now just touch up my edges with uh, some edge control. I'm gonna tie this down. So now I'm going to uh, secure, I'm gonna lay down my edges. I have this kind of wrap, which I'm going to wrap around the front and secure with the Velcro first. Then I have this scarf, which I'm just gonna fold into a triangle a couple times and just roll, okay, until you have it like this. And I'm also gonna lay that flat on my edges. See, space bumps are secure. Got my cute little braids. So I'm gonna leave this on until I get ready to go and then I will come and show you guys when it's all dry. Okay, so I'm just gonna remove this. Okay. 
hair starts looking up close. This is the final look for my hair, uh, and this is the final makeup look. Uh, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and share this video with someone if you think it would be useful for them, or if you just want to, uh, you know, put my video out there. I don't mind. Uh, and share with your family, share with your friends, share with the world. I don't mind. Tell everybody about this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Jesus.